keeping an organized pantry, ladies and gentlemen, is a good thing when it comes to saving you money. Because once you have everything that you need and you have enough of it to last you a year or even six months, you don't have to go out there and rush to buy things. You can take your time and find things when they are on sale. Hello, YouTubers. Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, today I wanted to show you my working pantry that's right off of my kitchen. And I wanted to show you how keeping a well-stocked working pantry off of your long-term pantry, the one that you've seen before, makes it easier for you to organize your long-term preps and always have everything that you need on hand. First, let me show you how I light this area. I never wired this in for lighting because it's such a small space. So check this out. This area is lit by my Goal Zero Torch 250. And I also put a couple of these puck lights in here to give it that extra little bit of light that we need towards the back end over there. So let me go ahead and give you a quick tour. Everything I have here, ladies and gentlemen, is stuff that I have in my long-term pantry. Some things I may not have in my long-term pantry because I just found a nice little nook here that allowed it to fit really well. But you can see over there, I have four of those bricks of yeast. Now, I know some people are going to say you should keep your yeast in the freezer. For some reason, ladies and gentlemen, these Mylar bags that they use and these vacuum sealed bricks, they must work very well, or they do. Because I opened one of these that was five years old, and it was still good. And I never kept it in the freezer. So I have four of those there. I have some cocoa right here. Cocoa, for those of you that don't know, will last indefinitely. So if you find cocoa on sale, pick some up. Because it will last indefinitely as long as it's sealed. I just have some French onions here, the crispy ones. I have some of my curry sauce. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, a pantry wouldn't be a pantry unless you had some spam. And I have some of that albacore tuna from Costco that I really like. For some reason, this to me just doesn't taste great. I really don't like that real fishy taste or flavor left over in your mouth when you eat fish. So I really don't like this. However, we do have a use for this. Every once in a while when Mrs. Kitty Cat has been really good, we'll break one of these open and feed it to her. Probably lasts about two or three days. She won't eat the whole cat at once. And as you can see here, I have some wild-caught yellowfin tuna that I purchased at Costco. I purchased a six-pack a while back to try it. Not too bad. I have a couple of the soups that I have in my pantry in here. And I have some of this masala that you put over rice. It's actually pretty good. It's like chickpeas in a curry, and you just put it over rice after you heat it up. So you can see here, I have a lot of my cream of chicken and cream of mushroom, along with some of the rotilli tomatoes that have peppers in them. And just some of the things that I use on a regular basis. I put that there on purpose because I keep meaning to open that up to see what they taste like. I had some a long, long time ago, but I forgot what they taste like. So if I ate them a long time ago, I'm sure that they're just fine. So just some fruits that I keep out here. Here's the sauces that I keep in this pantry. I keep a case, a little over a case of mac and cheese here. I keep some of my beans here. So my, my baked beans, we really like these, and we go through them a lot, especially during the summertime. So you can see here, we keep a case of popcorn, microwavable popcorn. We keep some of our condiments here. And here, we keep some of this potato filling and pumpkin filling for pies. What we use this sweet potato filling pie for mostly is whenever Karma gets a little constipated, we'll mix some of that in with her food. And here you can see that we have some of the opened cans of the baked beans, along with some of my pressure canned pinto beans, carrots, black eyed peas, with another case of the bush beans. Like I said, we really like these, especially during the summer. Some of our soups and like spaghettios, everything I keep here, ladies and gentlemen, is just stuff that we use on a regular basis. Here you can see that we have some lemon juice. We have some pineapple chunks. In the bottom over here, I keep some salt. Got some pinto beans here in the bottom, along with some garbage bags that we use in the bathroom. This is about half of the paper plates that we have. The other half is in the trailer. They're just easy to get to. As you can see here, we got some napkins, 
Those are the trash bags that we're using right now, along with our boxed ones. I keep my long grain right rice here. I don't really put it in a bin that holds like 50 or 60 pounds because I use the sticky rice a lot more than this long grain. And this here lasts us about a year. We'll probably go through a 25 pound bag in about a year. In addition to the rice that we use, that's sticky rice. You can see here we have some black beans. We have some gandulas that are dried. And the reason I keep these here, ladies and gentlemen, is because I actually use these when we run out of our pressure canned beans. I'll go ahead and pressure can some off of these containers. In the bag there, you see that we have some of the boxed milk, which we go through about a case a year of that box milk. And that right there is a case minus one box. So normally what I do is, is once that is starting to get about half full, once there's about half of what there's there, I'll buy a full case. I'll put it on the floor. And then once I can fit the full case in there, I'll go ahead and refill it, making sure that I mark the ones that are the older ones. And as you can see back there, it's just an overflow of some more plates that I got, some of my oven cleaner. I got a whole bunch of almond milk that's back there, and we use those to make smoothies. Under the stairs here, we made some shelves. Actually, my sister-in-law made these shelves when she was here last. We keep protein drinks. Victor drinks those on a regular basis. Some of our sweets, some fruits, and the sweets don't stop there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> these are sweets that my wife usually finds on sale after the holidays. This is our working stash of peas, corn, and green beans. And then we keep a couple of the cherries out here and the marinara sauce out here. We use those on a regular basis. Down here, we have a good stock of protein drinks for Victor. And over here, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that there is a straggler green bean that didn't fit on the other shelf. But we use green beans here quite often, so that'll be gone probably within a week or so. And then if you saw my pantry update video, you'll see that that was the oil that I had in there that was the oldest. So I went ahead and finished the half gallon of oil that I had here already. I filled up my working bottle that I keep on my counter and made room for these. So I grabbed these and then I'll show you in my pantry what I did to fill in that hole. Same thing with some olive oil. And here I'll keep my ghee. And once... I'm on the last bottle of ghee here. I'll go grab another one from the long-term pantry, bring it out here. As you can see over here, I have things for baking. So I have baking powder, a lot of baking powder. And another thing, I must be lucky, ladies and gentlemen, because baking powder is not supposed to last very long. But I have found that if you buy these things that people say isn't supposed to last very long, and you keep it in a nice, cool place that's dark, they last a long time. Because I just used some of this baking powder not too long ago, the one that I have in my actual cupboard. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Worked just fine. And as you can see here, I have some peppercorns that I'm about halfway done with. I have some little bottles of oil that Victor got me the last time he went on a trip. You know when you get little things like this that are so awesome that you don't want to use them? <laughs> I've had these for about a year and a half now. I just don't want to use them. I think they're so cool. They're different, different flavored oils. And you can see we have some pink Himalayan sea salt there along with some other spices that we have here that we use on a regular basis. And then once they run out on our cupboard, we come over here, grab it. And then once they run out here, guess where we go, ladies and gentlemen? That's right. We go to our long-term pantry. Here's a lot more of the spices that we have. Here's some cake and baking stuff. So we have some cakes here. These are the oldest ones we have. We have some pie crust mix, some corn muffins, some frosting. And then up here, we have just miscellaneous stuff. You can see there we have some pie filling. I have some olives there that are so good. I bought these olives years ago, and they're still excellent. Very, very tasty. And as you can see, we just have things here that we use on a regular basis. So what we do is, is we take our cupboards. Once our cupboards run out of something, we come in here and replenish our cupboards. And then... Once something here starts getting low, we go in the pantry. Let me go ahead and show you an example of a few things that I actually brought over here today. And I'm glad that I did because I just noticed that I'm running short on a couple of things. All right. So 
when I was filling in my green beans and corn, we haven't been eating that many green beans and corn and stuff like that because I haven't been making a lot of family meals since my wife and daughter's been gone. I usually make one or two a week whenever Victor's not working. So I came in here to replenish my green beans, my corn, my peas. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. After I reorganized everything and brought all of the old to the front and the newer stuff to the back, I still have this hole. Now, this right here that's on the floor is obviously going to be older stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the front of this shelf. So I just left it on the floor. That way, when I fill that in back there, I can just come in, slip it in, and then put everything that's here in the front. So that's how I like to do it because it keeps things organized. And as you can see here, I used to have another three bottles of oil here. I had an additional olive oil. And I had two additional bottles like this. But since I went ahead and grabbed my older ones from my other spot, I went ahead and replenished that spot with the oil that was here. So you can see right there is the oil that was in the other spot. So this tells me right here that this is the oil that I'm going to use next. So when we run out of oil in our working pantry, we're going to come in here and grab this oil. And everybody knows that this is the oil that we grab. All right, ladies and gentlemen. If you're the main persons that organize things in your pantry, in your home. Now, this is my forte, I guess you can say. I love doing this thing. I love organizing stuff. I like spreadsheets, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I do this because I really enjoy it. But you have to share that information with your family members. You don't want Victor to come on in here grabbing some Nutella when there's already a Nutella open in the pantry, right? If you can see right here. Right here, I can see that I have room for another two bottles of cherries. And we use these on a regular basis. I actually just made some ice cream the other day with these cherries. Came out outstanding. So the next time that I go to Costco, I'll pick up a two-pack. And over here, we can see that we have room to pick up probably about four to six more cans of soup. However, I have some soup down here that has a farther Best Buy date than these guys. So I'll wait for these to run out, these 20s. Then I'll bring these 22s up to this shelf. And then I'll fill in this spot with the new soups. Okay? Same thing with these fruits. Obviously, we don't really eat these fruits a lot, but we have them once in a while, which is good because they last us a very long time. And if you remember, ladies and gentlemen, the mac and cheese that I have in my working pantry, there's 24 boxes there. It fits 24 boxes. So... When that shelf gets down to about six boxes of mac and cheese, I come in here, I grab one, I fill the shelf up, and then I know that I need to buy another box of mac and cheese. It should be the same thing with just about everything. If you remember seeing this marinara sauce in the pantry, you see here that I have two left in here. But right now, we have room for another two three-packs. So next time I go to Costco, I'll pick up two three-packs of this because I know that we use it and we're going to use it. This actually goes pretty quick. This is really good marinara sauce for those of you that haven't tried it. This is good stuff. I'm glad that I saw Billy and Dee's uh, video, Frontier Preppers, when they did a payday prep because they picked these up. And I was like, I didn't even know that they had those there. I grabbed one. Everyone likes it. So win-win. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a short video, not too in-depth. I just wanted to show you how it is that I take and rotate my food out of my long-term prepper pantry which is what this is this is more long-term foods that i have here and rotate them out to the things that we use on a regular basis i'm not sure if i showed you the cakes that i have out there but what i did is is i went ahead and i came in here and i took all of the cake mixes that were the oldest i put them out there right and now i know that i have about another probably 10 boxes that i can put here of cake mix so if i see that cake mix is on sale for 50 cents a box, I'll pick me up 10 boxes and put them in there. And I know that they'll be good for years. Keeping an organized pantry, ladies and gentlemen, is a good thing when it comes to saving you money. Because once you have everything that you need and you have enough of it to last you a year or even six months, you don't have to go out there and rush to buy things. You can take your time and find things when they are on sale. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. Thank you for joining in today. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. 
If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Last Prepper. I am out.